Hello, I'm Suzette McClelland, and this is just some of the equipment used to develop and test Bag Easy with a new design based on research and customer input. A great deal of engineering went into building this bag around needs and wants expressed by respiratory therapists, physicians, and nurses. I want you to understand why we developed Bag Easy's innovative components. My associate Phil will show you how to put the bag to work. Thank you for giving me some of your time at this early morning hour. First of all, let me tell you right up front, I'm not a medical professional. I won't presume to tell you anything about how to resuscitate patients. You should follow accepted hospital protocol for that. However, I do know my product. Here's how Bag Easy comes packed. You simply pull the center part out, add the mask, and you're ready to go. It's a one-piece design so it won't fall apart during a procedure. Also, there are no extra parts to assemble. There's nothing to search for in inventory or to misplace. Bag Easy comes ready to connect to a standard artificial airway. Or you can just add the mask here at the front. How do you test the bag? Good question. The first thing you should do with this or any other bag is to perform a functional test. It only takes a matter of seconds. And because bag performance is so critical, it's well worth the effort. Block the patient valve and hold the bag in a horizontal position with the oxygen port facing up. Now, occlude the patient valve and give the bag a nice slow squeeze. You shouldn't see any deflation of the squeeze bag nor any inflation of the oxygen reservoir. If you do, get another bag. Do not use a bag that doesn't pass this test. Now, let's take a look at the bag itself. When you unpack and test Bag Easy, you notice its innovative design. Bag Easy doesn't look like any other bag on the market. The most obvious change is the placement of the oxygen reservoir and tubing in the front of the bag. We moved the reservoir for a couple of reasons. Moving it forward makes it easier to see. Also, leaving the rear of the bag free helps you deliver greater volumes to the patient, so you can get good volume whether you use one or two hands. Bag Easy delivers a minimum of 650 cc's with one hand and 1,000 cc's with two. In most cases, the bag will deliver 12 to 1,300 cc's. Now let's watch Phil hook up an oxygen supply and you'll be able to see how the front reservoir works. Once you've hooked up the tubing, start the oxygen. What flow rate are you using? 12 to 15 liters per minute. We recommend 12 to 15 liters to start with or you can set the flow meter to flush. When a patient isn't breathing, you set it at a rate appropriate for his or her condition. If a patient is breathing, follow his or her ventilatory pattern and avoid excessive pressure. Notice that while I'm bagging, I'm able to watch the oxygen reservoir breath by breath without looking away. You can also roll the bag instead of squeezing it. Rolling the bag at intervals helps prevent fatigue. What if the tubing gets disconnected? Good point. Would you please turn off the oxygen and I can show you. Thanks. You see, when the oxygen supply is interrupted, you're going to notice the reservoir collapse right away, so you can immediately fix the problem. And if you don't? And if you don't, air is drawn into these vents along the sides, so you can keep on bagging with room air. What happens if you stop bagging and the reservoir fills up with oxygen? I can demonstrate that too. Would you please turn the oxygen back on again? What I'm demonstrating is that when the oxygen reservoir is full, the excess air escapes out the side vents here. Does that material ever get torn? I'm glad you asked that, Luann. The reservoir is made out of urethane, so it's almost impervious to tears. When we're done here, I'll pass the bag around so you can all see for yourselves. Now let me show you something else. Let's say I'm standing over here bagging, and Lewis comes in and needs to stand right where I am. Well, Bag Easy has two 360-degree swivels, so I can change sides without even disconnecting. And it has a one-piece flex tube in case I get caught in a crowded corner. I can provide uninterrupted ventilation even in the tightest corner. 
Any questions? Yes, what happens if the patient vomits? I'm glad you asked that, Bonnie, because that's a very important consideration. What happens to regurgitated matter is an important question, and I can help Phil answer it. BagEasy is designed to keep vomitus in a small contained area. The patent design of the duckbill valve incorporates a ring which blocks the vomitus from moving past it. Additionally, the valve is located near the patient connector, so there's no long tube or elbow to get clogged. A good squeeze generally clears the bag, and with a quick rinse, you're back in service. Another good feature is up front here, on the patient valve, the exhalation port. That directs the patient's exhalations back toward the patient and away from the caregiver. BagEasy is the only manual resuscitator on the market with a built-in PEEP valve. Having PEEP always available can positively affect patient outcomes. Okay, let's move on to PEEP. As you can see, BagEasy comes with a built-in PEEP valve with a calibrated operating range of 4 to 20 centimeters of water. The bag comes set at minimum setting and you select the appropriate amount. Do you have to verify it? Yes, we recommend that you verify pressures with the manometer. Can you use the bag on the same person again later? That depends on hospital policy. Bag Easy comes with a plastic hook so you can hang it by the patient's bed for later use. However, Bag Easy is a single patient resuscitator only. You shouldn't use it with another patient. Okay, any other questions up to this point? Well, that concludes my presentation on the adult bag. However, there are two other models. The child and infant size models, which I can show to you at a later point. But right now, what I'd like to do is pass the adult bag around and let you get a feel for it and perhaps test it on the mannequin. All right? All right. Great. As you can see, the child and infant bags are very similar to the adult models and they're used in basically the same way. The child's bag achieves an average tidal volume of 300 cc's and the infant bag 130 cc's. Because children's lungs are so different, these bags contain additional safety features. Phil is explaining them now. Is this the pop-off valve up here? Yes, that's correct. That's the pressure pop-off valve. You can see that it has two settings. 40 centimeters of water pressure is the low setting, while 80 centimeters of water pressure is the high setting. The switch is normally in the 40 centimeter position. If the delivered pressure exceeds approximately 40 centimeters of water, then the valve will pop off and release the excess pressure. At this point, you can choose to change it to the 80 centimeters of water setting. When you do that, you should hear the snap right into place. Here by the patient connector is another safety feature, the pressure pickoff port. This white cap should always be in place if you're not monitoring pressure. If you are monitoring pressure, then remove the white cap and connect your manometer. You use the child's bag just like the adult one. Make sure you have a good seal and then bag according to hospital protocol. The infant bag has all of the features of the child's model and is used in the same way. So let me give you a chance to Thank test you. them out. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Okay? Thanks. The first time you see Bag Easy, you're probably going to be impressed with its flexibility. Once you get some hands-on experience using the bag, you can really appreciate its other unique features and benefits. Bag Easy offers four major innovations. Greater visibility gained from the placement of the oxygen reservoir in front of the bag, maximum freedom of movement from the new flexible tubing and dual swivels, instant availability of PEEP through the built-in PEEP valve, we hope that you, like our video hospital team, are now prepared to use Bag Easy to achieve the best possible patient outcomes. Introduction to CO2 Easy. The CO2 Easy is a carbon dioxide detector designed to detect CO2 in the exhaled breath of a patient. The CO2 Easy provides a colorimetric indication of intidal CO2 by changing from purple at its ambient levels of CO2 to yellow at respiratory levels.
The CO2 Easy is used during mechanical ventilation to assist in the placement of an endotracheal or nasotracheal tube, or to verify the condition of a patient airway. The detector may be used for up to two hours of continuous use and is designed for patients weighing more than 15 kilograms or 33 pounds. Why use CO2 detection with mask ventilation? Prevents unnecessary intubations. Color changes indicate a condition of patient airway. Indication of forward blood flow. Indication of return to spontaneous circulation during CPR. Indication of effective CPR. Why use CO2 detection for intubation? Meet the standard for care for ASA, AHA, and AARC. 100% effective at identifying proper tube placement when cardiac function is present. Indication of return to spontaneous circulation during CPR. Indication of effective CPR. CO2 features and benefits. Features. Large viewing area. Standardized connections. Rapid response. Resistance to high humidity. Treated lens. Three-year shelf life. Built-in bacterial filter. Vivid purple to yellow color change. Benefits. Easy visibility angle and blockage. Allows for use on all resuscitator models. Breath to breath which verifies detector condition and patient airway with each breath. Longer usable lifetime. Assist in clear visualization of indicator. Allows customer ample time to use inventory. Protects both patient and clinician. Provides a clear indication of CO2 levels. Instructions for CO2 Easy Indicator Verify that the indicator is approximately the same shade of purple as the check color printed on the detector label. If the detector is light pink, tan, or yellow, the detector has been damaged and should not be used. Six clearing breaths in the standard procedure to ensure all residual CO2 is cleared from the esophagus and stomach. Under normal conditions, the CO2 Easy will fluctuate back and forth from the purple check color to a color in the yes range with the inspiration and exhalation cycle respectively. Near the end of the useful life of the CO2 Easy, the indicator will stay in the yes range for a longer period of time. When the indicator's life has expired, it will change to yellow permanently. Contraindications do not use to detect hypocarbic. Do not use during mouth to mask or mouth to tube ventilation. Do not use for oropharyngeal tube placement. Do not use to detect the location of the tube within the airway. Main stem bronchial intubation. Standard assessment methods must be used. Do not use for patient with body mass less than 15 kilograms. 33 pounds as the apparatus dead space is too high for the patients of this size. Do not use with heated humidification.